We touched briefly on this idea that um, expression is about form and there's even emotional maturity to learning how to form our emotions. That's actually, whether you're an artist or not, that's a human condition that we learned how to navigate the feelings that we have inside and um, how to be able to publicly deal with them in the world. I think it's interesting, you know, when you see a, a, a child have a temper tantrum that they get so angry, they just blow up. Um, and it's, it's sometimes it, you can, if it's not your child, you can think, oh, that's really cute. Um, there, that's something or, oh, you know, poor, yeah. But it, that sometimes is a less attractive at, when someone grows up. Um, <laughs> So John Dewey said that expression is the clarification of turbid emotion. Yeah, I like that idea because what the um, expression, what we're doing is we're finding a way to clarify these things. And as Langer says, give them form in the world. And particularly when we want the forms to be in these, um, in these objects. Yeah, so here's a great image of a baby and you know, when Babies, I think, um, uh, when they cry, sometimes they don't know what they want, and that's part of the reason why they're crying. They don't, you know, they understand, uh, you know, maybe they feel something's wrong. I'm hungry. I'm tired. Um, you know, sometimes that happens at Christmas time with relatives and kids. It's like, the, oh my gosh, they've had too much Christmas. It's too many days of adults and everyone together, and um, so they can have a kind of a kind of tantrum and later on we learn how to to navigate those emotions um, and those worlds now again what artists like to do is they study i think artists study emotions they look at faces of people and they think okay how do i dance this phrase joyous what's the, what is the shape of joy how does joy affect these movements i'm making in space yeah. Um, if I want to look at this and say he's, there's sadness, there's loneliness, there's distraughtness, you know, this sculptor has looked at that in life and said, how do I now capture that in this form and express it in this bronze, in this, you know, I make metal look like it is human and look like it feels. Yeah, so that is kind of just fantastic to look at. So artists, I think, really study that and they're, they're dealing with it all the time. You see that in actors probably the most because acting is a kind of, usually the character is an, emo an emotional figure in an emotional state and in, in emotional situations that are happening, that are even changing during the arc of the play, you know, where they want something, whether they get it or don't get it, but there's a conflict, there is the, the drama of the piece, that all of those things happen. It happens in dance too, perhaps a little bit different, you know, so that's something to think about um, as you do that. But actors, are learning how to shape their emotions and express so that people can see these various emotions um, in the organization. Now, just briefly, what is an what is what is an emotion? Well, to study emotion, we're really in the in the realm of psychology, and psychologists think of it this way: that there are three things that make an emotional state an emotion that there's a stimulus, there's something that is just at us that is causing something to happen, whether it's something, you know, we're thinking about, something we're, we're experiencing, but there's a stimulus. There's some kind of physical response. The physical response is needed because something needs to be happening. We have to do something or else it's just something underlying us that's not acting on us. And then finally, there's an emotional response, which is often has something to do with also chemicals, whether it's adrenaline, like if I get angry or if I get upset or if I get startled, um, suddenly my chemistry changes too. So those three things, stimulus, 
physical response and emotional response, which is often chemical, that those come together, yeah. Now, um, probably for an actor, I don't know how much the chemical nature of us inside changes um, as we're in a dance. We probably wouldn't like that too much if, you know, suddenly we had more adrenaline or not. We might actually have adrenaline more less for the situation of the dance and more that the performance that an audience that I'm all nervous because there's all of those people out there watching me. So those are kind of curious things that, um, that can happen. So um, if we look at an emotion, yeah, how do we shape it? How do we 